Hey, it's so cool that you and Kirk are brothers, right? Brothers. Wow, so tall. You having fun playing? Yeah, this is the best party ever! I can't believe Kurt would do that to Blaine. So you think it's cool if I jam with you guys at prom? Yeah, totally. It's not on you. Is there a problem, guys? I just want Blaine to know that we're not the warblers. You know, we're not into the bells and whistles or, or the ball hawk. I, you know? I'm, I'm sorry, did I do something wrong? Well, yeah, you, you set a bonfire in our courtyard. The point is, right now, we shouldn't be turning on each other. I agree. I can only speak from my experience with the warblers, but no show choir is just one person, it's a team. When we lost a warbler, we just replaced him with another one. Which is easy when your waiting list has a waiting list. Dude, I know you're a big deal at Dalton or whatever, but we don't wear blazers here, so... Have a seat. I'm trying to give a pep talk. Didn't you just say something about us not turning on each other? Uh, Blaine, you actually had something you wanted to say, right? Yes, I did. All right, come on up. I just... So this is to remind us of... It's freaking hilarious how jealous of Blaine you are. Every time he opens his dreamboat acapella mouth, you're just itching to kick him right in the warblers. I think we should give the solo to the new guy. Get him prepared for what's in store when the stakes get high. Rory, I think you'll do a good job. Thanks, fun, but I don't think I'm ready for that honor just yet. Come on. Totally ready, Rory. You'll kill it. We'll all help you. It's a great idea, Finn. Thanks. Vote Hummel McKinley. Blaine, Kurt. Every time I open my mouth, Finn gives me these looks like, what does he think he's doing? I know what I'm doing. Is that Sam's face? Yep. Yours too. Don't act so surprised. After getting bullied so much, I took up boxing. I also started the Dalton Branch of Fight Club, which I obviously can't talk about. What is your problem with me anyway? Ever since I got here, you've given me nothing but crap. Honestly, dude, I was kind of jealous. <laughs> I felt threatened. Your talent kind of freaked me out. Made me question whether or not I was good enough. Look, Blaine, I'm sorry. Uh, I've been acting like a jackass to you. With Rachel gone, you're the most talented, well-rounded member of this team. And now more than ever, we need to be on the same page. United. Tell me what you need me to do. We have an opportunity. An opportunity to be remembered at this school for the rest of our lives for doing the impossible. But it all starts right here, with you and me. I just want to be able to look across that stage at you and know that we did everything we could. No regrets. Let's get back to work. <laughs> All right. Many more. We got Once this. You one who tried to hurt yeah, we did. Gave it our all. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. Hey, are you just like Luke Skywalker and Han Solo? No, that's copyright infringement. Any resemblance to Star Wars characters is purely coincidental. And I brought you a couple of uh, eye patch featuring flicks from my collection. I got uh, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, Valkyrie, and Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. Oh, thank you, guys. And this is surgery. <sighs> this week. Honestly, I'm terrified. Don't sweat it, dude. You'll heal up good as new. Yeah, and there are tons of legendary performers who've only had one eye. Sammy yeah. Davis Jr., Columbo. And, and Stevie Wonder. He did pretty good with no eyes at all. You guys, I'm really upset that I'm missing Michael Week. It just totally sucks. Well, that's why we figured we'd bring a little bit of Michael to you. Yep. Then most people would turn you away. Listen to a word they say They don't see you as I do I wish they would try to I'm sure they think again If they had a friend like Ben A friend Oh, look what Finn won you, Blaine Skeeball Finn won this? Is one of the best selling soundtracks of all time. Friends at the shop. It's me. Blaine.
Mike and myself will triangulate a very carefully planned attack on Puck here, here, and here. Is that, is that a bear I'm hiding behind? No, no, it's a bush. It looks like a bear. But it's not a bear, it's a bush. Hey! Oh, Finn, what, what are you doing here? I'm not really sure at the moment, but you guys, good to fantastic. See you. We're all together here, just like the good old days. Hey. Um, by the time I got up, you were already gone. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Why'd you do that to him? I don't know. I just... There's no excuse. He won't talk to me. I don't even know if we're broken up. Running in circles Coming up tails Heads on a side It's such a shame for us to part You were awesome. Amazing. I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't, Finn. I, I didn't want to let you down, but... Greece is a romance, and how can I play any of the scenes if I have ruined mine? I don't think I would be able to play the truth of Danny Zuko. Thank you for letting me audition, but I, I, I just can't. Look, this is, this is really, really weird, mm -hmm. but the four of us have a lot of history between us. So I just want to say, it's cool you came to see our show. I'm pretty proud of it. Finn, times have changed. We're national champions now, which means we have to exceed all expectations. So if that's your best idea, I, I don't think we stand a chance. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to get our trophy back from the Warblers. The one you haven't even noticed is missing? <laughs> Crap. Uh, so who exactly? When we should be focused on the Warblers. Nightbird is handling the missing trophy. Great. Thank you, Nightbird. Hey. You got a minute? Yeah, dude, I was just gonna text you. How's Operation Rescue Recovery going? Well, when I went back to Dalton, all those blazers and singing with the warblers again. Wait, wait, what? You sang with the warblers? It just sort of happened. But they embraced me like I was a long lost brother. It, it was like in X-Men 2 when Pyro left the X-Men to join Magneto's Brotherhood. It, it just felt right. Like maybe I belong with the warblers. Dude, no, no, you belong here with us, okay? We does, does this have to do with, with Kurt? Everything in this room reminds me of him. We were a dynamic duo in here. Kurt was my anchor, Finn, and now that he's gone, I just, I feel like I'm floating. And you, you, you need a team that's gonna gel. Yes, absolutely, we need a team with a lot of gel, and, and you're like the biggest part of that. I'm sorry, Finn, but the Warblers are my birthright and my destiny. Does anybody know our Blaine Warblers? Uh, well, as some of you guys might know, uh, recently Blaine has been going through a bit of a rough time. Oh, boo-hoo, get over it. It's like a bad Lifetime movie. And he's decided to finish the rest of his senior year at Dalton Academy. We have, most importantly, the leader. <laughs> That's to always remind you that you're the almighty treble clef, the uniter of glee clubs, and the uniter of friends. Next week at sectionals, Marley and Blaine will handle our duet. Well, it looks like we've all sort of moved on. It's just this one question. When are we gonna tell Finn? This is a, a weight training regimen that they stole from Vocal Adrenaline. You can't just go from being a twig to Jean-Claude Van Damme in a few months. Tell him, Sam. Look, the average male gains up to two pounds of muscle per month. Fact! And that's without cheating. We looked it up online. Look, chapter seven, subsection 16, rule four, line nine. Any team using performance enhancing drugs, including amphetamines, anabolic steroid, human growth hormone, or four local will be automatically disqualified from competition. The rule is retroactive. So if we can prove that they used at sectionals, they'll have to forfeit and we'll win. Glee Club is back, blam. Guys, what you are asking me to do here is beyond serious. The Warblers are like one of the most respected Glee Clubs in the country. To accuse them of this when, when all we have for proof is photos of some dude's head and a cell phone video? Look, I want Glee Club back just as much as you guys, but this isn't enough. We need more real proof. We have some. Me. I knew when Trenton performed with the Warblers at sectionals that something was up. Big props to Sam and Blaine for all their hard work to make this happen. You're feuding, and it needs to stop. Seriously, it's like Hatfields and McCoys in here. So Epic Musical Feuds is our theme, and for the first time in Glee Club history, we are giving you our fearless leaders an assignment.